Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the man himself, Bo Bassett. Well, I'm just gonna hold it. Hey, I'll just yeah, hold it. We're in your basement right now, but give us a tour. Yeah, so this is where the 5 a.m.s go down. Um, I'll wrestle some like privates down here with some of the college guys, or uh, Eric Gibson will come wrestle me, guys like that. And so I'll wrestle down here. Mostly what goes down here is the 5 a.m.s though. So basically, coming down, we already have posters. I mean, we got posters, we got brackets everywhere. And uh, so there's a lot going on down here. And uh, my, my dad does a lot of the poster stuff and, and graphic design for us. So we're always, you know, looking sharp, I guess. And so down here, we have a lot of our gym equipment. We get a lot of strength workouts in down here. I'll do a lot of strength, a lot of extra stuff down here. We pretty much got a full gym, which is like, you don't see that in a lot of houses for sure. And I'm definitely really lucky to have that. But we have a lot of the um, older, older machines, really, that my dad always liked to use. So he kind of got these from an older gym. And uh, we use them almost every day um, at our 5 a.m.s and so everything like that. And so it gets pretty sweaty down here. So we have dehumidifiers running all the time and everything like that because uh, it gets hot down here. And so we have our mat, not a full size mat, but it's a pretty big mat. Um, and it fits pretty much anywhere from 8 to 12, I would say, um, is what you can wrestle. We normally go in the corner. So a decent sized mat. We get about 22 to 24 guys down here for our 5 a.m.s and, and we wrestle a lot. So up here we got our pull-up bar. It's cool too, we have our thick bar. Um, that's one thing that we learned, uh, strategy. A lot of the guys that do tilts that are big on grip strength always told us to do thicker bar pull-ups. So we do thick bar pull-ups and, and so we taped it up and did all that and um, yeah, so we have stuff like that. Over here we have my world title uh, banner. Um, I'm pretty sure someone gifted that to me and so it was really cool and we thought we'd hang it up and then Right where you're at right here, we have our sauna. And so this is something that I'm really lucky to have. We were just in here um, today. It's it's awesome, we got a bike. Is it big? Yeah, we, we got a bike. Oh, this was wow. self-made. Uh, my dad and my grandpa, and um, yeah, they made it up. We got the heater, a bike for uh, whoever's brave enough, and um, yeah. <laughs> so do you, do you have a name for your dummy over there? No, we haven't named the dummy. Uh, we just got him not too too long ago, but I think we're definitely gonna have to name him. My brother loves throwing the dummy around, and he's actually getting pretty good at it. And so yeah, he just kind of sits in the corner until my brother gets on him. But the last thing we have here is kind of like the utility room, but we have our ice barrel. Shout out ice barrel that we use. Come in here after a long week of training. We used to have a stepper, uh, but just pretty much ran out of room for that. We got our yoga ball for when I wrestle rest of the ball, kind of just a storage room. The ice maker's right here for the ice barrel, constantly making ice and uh, yeah, just a really good setup. Really lucky to have this, like I said. Uh, this is the Bassett basement wrestling room and- uh, I didn't know there's more posters in here too. Yeah, we got everything. How cold is the ice barrel? It is there? not cold right now. If we were to get in there, normally at the end of the week, we would shoot in the cold water yeah. straight from the pipes and load it up with ice. How cold does it get? It's really cold. I haven't measured it, but uh, it's, it's super cold and definitely does the trick of recovery. And um, yeah, I mean, we got a few hidden gems that, that I think are really good. I mean, hanging up here on these type of things. We have our endless rope right here. You can just oh, keep on I, that's going. That's what this is. Yep, endless rope and it just keeps oh. on going. So wow, that's sweet. Yep. We got our ropes, we pull up bars, Bulgarian bags. This is cool too, actually. This is uh, an Iowa chair and Coach Jody Strip Matter, I don't know how he got it, but back when he wrestled for Iowa, he took it, it was it was a coach's chair. Oh. So um, we're thinking that Dan Gable used this chair for all of his Iowa dual meets and so he actually oh. put us in a pull up contest at an elite camp. And so he has elite camps at his house in the summer and we did a pull up contest and I actually didn't win, my brother won and uh, he's, he's really good at pull-ups. How much did he get? He did like something in the 40s, like crazy. I mean, it was with kicks, kip yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff, but I mean, it was all the way down, yeah. all the way up, and I think he did like 43 pull-ups and... So do you think Dan Gable sat in this chair? I think he did. This is ancient. This thing Do you mind? Old. Do you mind? No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's different level <laughs> stuff, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty sick, and uh, yeah, I mean, over here too, this is something that's cool. Not a lot of people have seen this. It's tough. There's not much lighting. Okay. But uh, I mean, just in this paper poster, I guess there was Spencer Lee right here. He's kind of cut off. Uh, Jason Nolf, Luke Pletcher, uh, trying to look in here. Max Mirren's over here somewhere right there. Uh, Caleb Young, uh, Michael Kemmer, uh, guys like that. I mean, guys that have blown up. Wait, uh, is this you team. and Kale Sanderson? Like, oh yeah, way, way back. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, that's 2013. Right, so 10, 10 years ago. Wow. 10 years ago, 
Yeah. So you know him pretty much your whole life. Yeah, right here is Spencer Lee. This is when he was in like probably high school. And then I was just starting wrestling down at the bottom. So, yeah. Dude. Way back. Spencer and I in Jody's basement. Yeah. It's just, it's nuts. Some of these uh, old school Young Guns posters are crazy. And then I have this one. Uh, it's, that's old school too, so. A lot of cool memorabilia stuff, and we get a lot of good training down here, so really But lucky. the memorabilia doesn't end, right? No, well, it doesn't end. Up it's up here. <laughs> we got way more up here. Up here is kind of like the mini museum we have. Uh, we got more Young Guns posters and uh, state podiums, stuff like that. And then up here, we always got like a cool graphic made if we won a state title. That was always like one of the rewards and was something that I always look forward to. And they made like pictures that they took from there. And, that's something cool that I'll look back on. But, I mean, we got a lot of my medals. Something that I did when I was younger was I competed a lot. Wrestled every weekend, pretty much, when I was growing up. And so, we have a lot of really cool stuff. And Tulsa, and I mean, Super 32, USA Wrestling type awards. So, there's some pretty cool looking stuff up there. But, a lot of the state medals and, and things like that. So, US Open plaques and He's pretty cool. Uh, the Spartan Nationals and these Trojan Heads was a really local tournament. They ran at Belfont. It's a pretty good wrestling high school. We went to that tournament every year because those were the coolest trophies back in the day. And then, uh, yeah, over here we got some some cool stuff. One of my favorite <laughs> trophies oh, right here. Yes. Clash of Combat. Already have it up. Um, hopefully someday we can put the NCAA trophy behind it. <laughs> and that, that would go pretty hard. But this is cool. Um, one of my wrestling friends his sister paints, and she painted that after I won Worlds, um, so, so that was cool. And then I had my signed Spencer poster, and then a lot of memorabilia over here. So when I made the team, uh, USA Wrestling assigned us all like kind of like a, they called it like the older brother. And uh, for me, it was Jordan Oliver. And so I have signed shoes downstairs, and then a signed USA Oliver singlet right here. Wow. So, uh, yeah. This is the collection. Too. But, yeah, right here. So, it's pretty awesome. I, uh... I'm not big enough to wear it yet. It's it's medium, but I'll probably bring it out like next year. Maybe oh, I didn't no. even think about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then a bunch of really cool, really cool trophies. Yeah, we got that helmet. That's one of the cooler ones. Yeah. And then my uncle played college football. That's one of his helmets. And then my brother's a big Iowa football fan for college. So that's why that's there. And then right here, we have the Rudis Cal Snyder's. Um, he won the Olympics, I think in 2016, I think that's what this whole theme was, and he signed 2016 pairs of shoes, and we got, we just so happened to get two of them. I guess they're pretty rare, so. How long would that take to sign 2,000 pairs of I shoes? Know. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That would, that would take a while, but those are definitely going to be worth something someday. I'll probably just keep those. Yeah. And then um, one cool thing here, too, is, is we have our medals on the door. Um, just maybe medals that we lost at or or something like that. Um, one of my medals is on my, my room, my door. It just kind of gives you that, you know, remembering that loss or whatever. You hear it bang and, you know, you got to go get after it. But, oh, that's yeah. Sick. So, yeah. I mean, this is the wrestling room. Up here we have kind of like the, I guess, trophy room and uh, relax room. But this is just something that I'm uh, really fortunate to have and um, something that I really uh, take full advantage of. Dude, Put a lot of hours sweet. in. Dude, well, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, man. For showing us around. No problem. Putting out, yeah. getting on the pod, so yeah. this has been fun. No doubt. Appreciate it. Scene cut. <laughs> Bo literally has like the perfect training setup. Honestly, I'm so jealous. I wish I had something like that in my house. Maybe I'll have that in my own house if the YouTube check gets a little bit bigger. You guys might have been watching that and been like, okay, well, he has everything accessible to him and I don't have any equipment. I don't have like that wrestling mat at my house. And of course your mind can go into like a bunch of excuse modes and being like, okay, well, no wonder I'm not super 32 champ or world champ. But something just from experience, all you have to think about is what can I do with what I have? And let's say, okay, you do want a wrestling mat. Okay, go cut, you know, 30 lawns, buy a 12 by 12 wrestling mat. Boom, you got a wrestling mat. You work with what you got and you work towards what you want to get. Now, just sounding like that, it just seemed like black and white. Of course, there's a lot of gray area in between there, but you have your own ability to create your own destiny. You know, even if you have just a simple pair of wrestling shoes, no wrestling mat, no weightlifting equipment, go to Walmart and get a $20 pull-up bar. You can do pull-ups on it, dips, whatever. You stuff around your house. Be versatile. And always, at the end of the day, make sure you keep pursuing greatness. I had the plug, okay? My exclusive merch with Barbell, link in the description below. Now, it seemed like you guys really did like that Penn State video. 
Now, this is not it, of course. We have two more big videos coming out from this trip. One is actually going to be with Yanni D. This is, this is where the magic happens. The most recent four-time champ, he's going to give us a tour around that Cornell wrestling facility. And the other one is actually training wrestling with Bo Bartlett, which was insane. That dude is that dude's a menace. But um, going back to Yanni D, our podcast with him is actually going out today on Memorial Day. So as soon as this video comes out, an hour later will be the podcast. Make sure you guys take the time to really appreciate, you know, of course, what this day means for the brave men and women fighting for our country. And of course, those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Every day, please just see it as a blessing. We are truly blessed to be here in the United States, and it allows us to do what we love with whom we love. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. Shout out to my patrons for supporting me on there. We'll see you guys next video.